Yesterday's seven hour rain delay that's in the rear view mirror for the golf golfers at the Meyer LPGA Classic. Now first round of play is over. Second round has started 13 on your side. Sports director Jamal Spencer joins us now live from Plainfield Township with the latest Jamal. What's the course looking like today? That's a big question. To be honest, Nick, the course looks a lot better than it did yesterday. The greens are a little bit soft and soggy, but the golf was good. Otherwise, it was closer to being back to normal. For the golfers, though, today still presented quite a big challenge. You know, more than 70 golfers still had to finish their round one today before they can even get started with round two. Now, that might wear out a normal golfer, but these are the professionals, and they handled it quite well. Two of those golfers were Brooke Henderson and Brittany Altamar. Now, the two barely got comfortable last night before darkness sent them inside. Henderson, the 2017 champ, finished round one at eight under and in the lead. Altamar was two shots behind her in a tie for third. Now, the two would be tied for first halfway through round two before Henderson pulled away. She birdied five of her final six holes to sit at 16 under. That 128 is a 36 hole record for the Meyer LPGA Classic. When you just shoot scores like that, you have to have everything kind of working for you, and you have to get some breaks along the way too, which I did. And you know, I think playing well last night and you know finishing off with a hole in one before going to sleep was really exciting for me. And you know, I was just able to back it up this morning, which was cool. And then you know, going out this afternoon, I was just trying to you know make some more birdies and, and see what I could do. And I kind of got a run there on the back nine, which made it even more fun. Now, through the completed courses yesterday in round one, the leader was at six under, which you saw from Brooks, Brooke Henderson today and many others that are getting into the double digits now. Shows you that the course is really starting to firm up, really starting to take shape, and the weather definitely is not a factor, which is why you're seeing the scores go up. The golf looks a lot better today than it did yesterday. That hole in one for Henderson, actually one of three from yesterday. So we'll see if we can get any more. I'll have full highlights for you, though, and more post-coverage reaction coming up in sports at 6 o'clock.